Hey folks, welcome to the Cosplot Collectibles YouTube channel. I'm Greg Brown, uh, owner and president of Cosplot Collectibles. And this week I wanted to talk to you about um, one of my favorite lines that we carry, uh, Guy for Man. If you're not familiar with Guy for Man, basically Guy for Man was the licensed property of G.I. Joe um, as it was sold in Spain. Um, there was a factory or a company called Guy for who uh, made and sold toys in Spain. And so when they got the license to manufacture and sell, G.I. Joe in Spain, they just changed the name to Guyper Man. It's the same thing with um, Palatoy in the UK when they changed theirs from G.I. Joe to Action Man. They wanted to have a name that would be people who identify in that particular country. So they didn't actually start the licensing until the 70s, whereas uh, Palatoy was licensing in the 60s. So they kind of came in late in the game. So most of the product that they had was uh, Adventure Team based. And, uh, but what was really cool, and we have a few examples here to show you today, is their artwork was different than the, uh, than the vintage G.I. Joe artwork from the 1970s. And um, sometimes their, their figures are actually a little bit different. One thing you'll notice when we're showing here today is that the bodies are a little bit different. As a G.I. Joe collector, you're mostly used to um, the classic 1964 era body, and then you get into the late 1970s into the quote unquote muscle body. Guy for Man went kind of in a similar direction, but they made a few differences, a couple of changes. And we'll, again, we'll talk about that today as well. So let's go ahead and start looking at some of the sets that we have here. The first one, is the Impossible Mission or Mission Impossible set. This one's really cool in the fact that this is the model, the, the first model body that they had, which was very, very close to the Adventure Team body uh, with Kung Fu Grip hands. Um, you'll notice this as with the, the vintage ones, that the head sculpts are a little bit different in appearance. Um, the plastic is a little bit different. It's not really a cheap plastic, but it's just a different plastic. In this particular model for the Mission Impossible, he comes with a yellow jumpsuit. And he has ammo bandolier across his chest. He has a Sterling submachine gun pistol and knife, and a map, and then he also has his top secret orders. The packaging is really is really interesting. Again, like I said, that this is very unique to Guyper, uh, Guyper Man in, in Spain. Um, they will have a lot of product that's shown on the back of other different sets. Um, but again, you can't really tell on this one, but we'll show you here in another one uh, how the how the artwork is a lot different. So this is a real basic set, but I want to say these this one retails for ninety nine ninety nine. Really good set, and we just got them in. The other set, and this one better demonstrates the artwork that I was talking about because it shows the artwork right here. Again, this is artwork that was very specific to Guyper. It was not they did not use artwork from the United States. They used their own artwork. This particular uh, set is the uh, the Med military medic. Uh, he comes in uh, green fatigues. He has an orange neck scar, a white helmet with a red cross, a brassard with red cross, a white belt with with pouches, boots, uh, flag, first aid kit, bandages. He actually has a litter or a stretcher, some people call it, that actually folds up, which is really, really cool. He has the stethoscope, canteen with white pouch, and then he has a um, what do you call it? A crutch with some with some leg braces that you can use with the bandages. Very similar to the one that was released by Hasbro in the 1960s, but again, they took it in a totally different direction. And if you'll notice on this particular set, these are the, the version two bodies. And the reason, the way you can tell about the tell the difference is that instead of having eagle eyes, what they did is they took the eagle eye head, but they didn't put the eagle eye head mechanism inside of it. So the, the eyes look a little bit different. I jokingly said that they kind of look bug-eyed or if they have a thousand yard stare. But you'll notice that there's a difference between that and this. It's the harder plastic, which is what the other original heads uh, for the eagle eyes were. But that's how you tell the difference between a, a version two and a version one. The next one is the Commando Secreto. Um, this one has a very, um, I would say, has a very Spy Island kind of vibe to it. Um, it has the turtleneck sweater, ammo bandoliers. It has the uh, the denim pants, the uh, shoes, gun, canteen, uh, cap, knife, and then the secret orders. Um, this one, this particular one, comes in a model one body, and um, so it's not going to have the the eagle eyes. But again, like I said, you'll notice it because of the skin tone and stuff like that. It's just pretty different. Well, it gets set again. This one is ninety nine dollars. What you'll start noticing is sets that are about this size are going to be about ninety nine ninety nine. Whereas sets that are this big 
are going to be about $119.99. So the more stuff that comes with it, the more expensive it's going to be. Next, we're going to come up to the uh, Explorer. I'm just going to say it, the Polar Explorer. This, um, again, the packaging is smaller. Um, he's going to be the model one type of body. He's going to have um, the anorak, the pants, the, the uh, Arctic boots, the snowshoes, the binoculars, and flare gun. Model one body. Again, this is going to be the $99.99 price. We also offer a deluxe set that comes with more equipment. And if memory serves me correctly, and we'll post the links below, we offer this in both the version one body and the version two body with the Eagle Eyes. Then we come to, I like this one. This one's just called the Adventurer. This is the pretty standard figure that they, they offered in Spain. Um, very similar to the basic figure that they offered over in the UK. Um, white turtleneck shirt, blue pants with white striping. Um, black shoes, pistol, uh, machine gun, gr and grenades. Um, no uh, no pistol holster. Uh, if you're going to get one of these and you want to add the pistol holster for that pistol, you're probably going to have to buy one from us, or you're going to have to buy a vintage one. Um, really great set. And again, this is also a uh, version one body. And uh, these are going to be retailing for about $99.99 $99 as well. And then finally, we get over to another commando. And this one is called the British Commando, or they just call it Commando, but we call it the British Commando. If you're an Action Man fan, you're going to notice this as I want to say that the set is called Sabotage in Action Man. That's It's very close to that. It has the uh, the olive drab fatigues. Um, again, it has the ammo bandolier, the M60 machine gun, bio and cap, grenades, and smoke grenades as well. Excuse me, dynamite sticks. Those are dynamite sticks. Again, they use similar artwork. I'm not sure if this artwork was taken from Action Man. I think it's original. And again, this is a $99.99 set, so it's going to have the first style body. What's really cool, and I didn't say this at the very beginning of this video, is that some of these sets actually use um, vintage product in them. Um, a little bit of a backstory about how these came to be. Basically, um, Geiper, the Geiper factory closed many, many years ago, and I want to say it just sat there empty. And a, a person um, by the name of Juan Manuel uh, in Spain, ended up buying all the tooling. So he owns all of the metal tools. And he also ended up buying a lot of the leftover clothing inventory. So some of these actual pieces, and I can't comment which ones, I want to say, they kind of vary, but some of these pieces on these are the actual old inventory from the 1970s that he has reused. Anything that is a plastic item is using the old tooling. So these things, like the weapons that are pl that are plastic and the accessories that are plastic, are going to be a reproduction, but they're using the existing tools from the 1970s. So it's really, I mean, these are about as authentic as you can get to the real deal that came out in the 1970s. These items are all in stock right now on our website. Um, we'll post a link below as to how to get there. Um, these things are these things we've been carrying for many years. We restock and they sell out. We restock and they sell out. But the one set excuse me, the one piece that a lot of people have been asking about and they've been wanting is this guy right here. The muscle body from Guyper Man is a very well-engineered, very well-made piece. And I'll explain to you why. Um, we've carried the, the Caucasian muscle body for years. Uh, we're sold out at the moment. We should be get, getting some more in, hopefully in the next 30 days. This is the African-American version. Um, we've already received in we received in 150 of these. I would say we're two thirds sold out of these. So if you're thinking about getting one of these, I would go ahead and get them. But as to why the design is better, in my opinion, um, the it's very similar to the GI Joe Adventure Team muscle body. But the one thing that 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 they ended up doing with Kuiper is they made a they made a change here on the neck post. So that whereas the GI Joe Adventure Team it's a one piece neck post and the head fits on top, this one actually has an articulated neck post that can help them swivel around and up and down like that. And these neck posts can pretty well take any type of vintage head post that you want to put, excuse me, a vintage head that you want to put on it. Or if you want to put an elite brigade body, excuse me, an elite brigade head on it, um, we can, you can definitely do that as well. But the really cool thing about this is whereas the GI Joe bodies used a rubber link system between, you know, like the shoulders and the elbows and the hands and such like that, Guyper went in a different direction and they use a modular system where everything connects to each other. So I really can't show here and I really don't want to take this guy apart. Um, but basically what the mechanism here, there's a connecting point that goes right here. And then this hand 
has a wrist connector and it locks into right here and it can pop off and pop on. But the great thing about it is it doesn't deteriorate at all because it's a modular system. So we're, and also the great thing about these is they're, they're not wobbly. These guys are, I mean, they, they just, they use existing tooling, but these guys, they can pretty well stand on their own and they will not deteriorate. If you buy a muscle body from the 1970s, you know, you're going to find the arms here, the head there, and you're going to find a bunch of stuff crumbling around. These do not have that problem. Um, they're very durable and I think they're priced very good. We sell these for $42.99 online. Um, we also will be off, we also are offering the hands. These are the Kung Fu Grip hands that come with these. We sell them separately as well as the wrist connectors. Um, in my opinion, these are the best Kung Fu Grip hands you can get on the market. Um, right now we have the African American ones. We don't have the Caucasian ones at the moment, but they're expected to come in when we get the Caucasian bodies. So if you're wanting to repair one of your muscle bodies, the, the vintage GI Joe muscle bodies, I would get these hands to put on there because they're the closest thing I've ever seen out there. So, but anyway, that's a real quick recap and uh, lesson on Guyper, uh, the Guyper factory and Guyper man today. Um, again, if you need to find, if you want to look for any of these items on our website, um, you can look under Guyperman, G-E-Y-P-E-R-M-A-N. I will post a link below and um, check out the inventory. We got a ton of inventory, we have a ton of parts, set of reproduction parts that you can buy as well. But um, that's about it. So until next time, have a great day and uh, thank you for visiting our YouTube channel.